the one thing I want to say about this short little clip about Ronda Rousey getting defeated once again is that the hype is over Ronda the height is over. Your team let you down by making you think that you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a striker once again. And all I'm going to say is that Ronda Rousey's image is getting diminished very quickly. A former champion looking like a washed-up has-been. This is what this is ultimately making her look like. I don't know who gave her the fight. I don't know why they let her fight. I, I, I really don't know why they let her fight. I, I, I just don't get it. Um, her team should have said, no, Rhonda, to come back, you need to maybe fight an undercard. Maybe fight somebody who ha who hasn't been champion yet. You know, to get your your uh, mental game back up. Because apparently, you know, after a big loss like she did against Holly Holm, when she lost against Holly Holm, that big loss, that big loss affected her mentally. Okay? And if that is going to make it, give you, if the fight like that, losing, you know, one fight and still having a 12 and one record is going to make you go into hiding then you really have some soul searching to do as a person and then to come back and then fight a major champion somebody who has gone up the ladder and now is a champion herself at the top of her game and then to come in and think that you're gonna just knock her off her horse come on who's setting up these fights they don't care a damn about your career. They don't care a damn about you. They're in it for the money. And they don't care if you're going to go in there and take an L. So some of these fighters, maybe she's had one too many blows to the head and she doesn't get it. And she thought she could come back in here and just take the crown, you know. But this girl is going to keep her belt for a while and going to make others prove, you know, work hard and prove that they can take the belt away from her. Just like you, Rhonda. When you thought you could... Just stand, just like when she thought she would be the champion. You know, she was a champion for 12 long fights. I'm not sure how many fights within those couple of years, 12 of them. But I know it wasn't 12 years, but, you know. Anyway, make my point is that Ronda Rousey should have just taken an undercard of another, a lesser fighter. Someone who wasn't a champion. Maybe someone who had already been fighting, who was only up and coming or something. Before she got back into the ring. Because her her blatant disrespect of other fighters is absurd. Truly absurd. And I'm going to say this once and for all. If she can't articulate why she lost. If she can't articulate why uh, she had a bad uh, fight. And can't stay and, inter and, and take interviews like other fighters. Who are in the same profession as her to make a name for themselves, to make a living for themselves, you know, then shame on her. When will she get it? Maybe she needs to see a psychiatrist or a psychologist. Somebody needs, maybe she needs to go and see, gets counseling. Because this is total disrespect. $3 million will buy you a whole lot of counseling sessions. I guarantee you. Because I believe that was the purse for her fight in this. You know, being a former champion. Okay. Why? Because she was undefeated? There's other champions out there. How come Holly Holm didn't get no um, th one point something million or two point something million, even not three million, but something in the millions, huh? She beat you. The undefeated. Then, of course, yeah, she lost, Holly, but she lost gracefully. She didn't go into hiding. She's still fighting or training to fight. She still answers interviews and talks to people. What's with this girl? I'm beginning to believe she really has some mental issues going on. And she better fix them because before she gets back into the ring. Because that mean look is not going to help her. 
It's not going to scare her opponents. You know, she had this mean look. Maybe she's trying to psych her own self up. Hey, Nunez brought it to her. Her hand speed, her striking speed, she brought it to you. And you just could not take it. It was overwhelming. You're not as fast as her. Maybe you need to get on the speed bags so you can get your your your, your speed up. Okay? Get in, you know, then get into some techniques of learning how to throw hooks and rights and uppercuts and combinations. If you're gonna get into the standing game of striking, what they call striking in MMA, which is still a form of boxing. You don't know how to punch, you're gonna get your lights knocked out. Period. Don't know how to bob and weave. Like she had no head movement. It's like once she gets pump, once she takes a punch, it's like all of a sudden she's like a deer in the headlights and keeps getting pulmonated, 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 you know, keeps getting pulmonated. And then she goes down because she doesn't know how to, she gets stunned with the dead in the, the deer in the headlights look. Come on, Rhonda. You're either going to get your game together or retire, you know. It would have been nice if she had just took a, a took taken a slice of humble pie, fought someone who wasn't a champion, and had a couple fights under her belt. Then she could get back up there, and whoever had the belt at the time, she could fight them. But no, they suckered her into trying to fight it. I don't know if it was her. See these business negotiations. We have no idea what they do behind the cameras, behind the cameras when the cameras are off and everything's going down. The coaches and everything. We don't know what's going on. But we all know it's about money. So once again, she took a big purse, took a big beating. And maybe she knew she wasn't going to win. Who knows? Nunez came in there and didn't. In the beginning of the fight, Nunez grinned at her uh, right before they started right into the ring. I saw Nunez had a small smirk on her face. Like she knew, like, whatever, girl, you're going to have to prove to me that you're going to beat me. And definitely it didn't happen. So anyway, that's what I'm saying. Hopefully, um, I, I mean, I like Holly. I think she'll win her next fight, hopefully, I believe. Um, she has the personality, you know, of a champion, a, a gracious champion. Respect all the fighters, you know. That's another thing I have a problem with Ronda. She doesn't respect other fighters. She won't touch gloves. None of that stuff. That's bullshit. That's straight bullshit. You know, you're a professional. You're supposed to be a professional. Remember the movie Rocky? Even Rocky, um, after about even he lost to Apollo, Apollo in the second one. Guess what? They didn't end up becoming friends because Apollo showed him the way. You know, sometimes maybe you need to get with the other fighters instead of distancing, distancing, distancing yourself from others. Excuse my stumble over words sometimes. You know, pronunciations. Even the English language is very hard. Anyway. I regress. <clears throat> even on your high horse, you know, even on your high horse, you know, up in his castle, grand castle, you can, you're not a god. You can be beat, you know? But yes, I I think it's, there, there's a sense of arrogance that comes with being a champion, but you need to understand something, especially when you have win after win after win. You need to understand that, look, I'm going to make every opponent that fights me, I'm going to make them win i'm gonna make them earn the winning if they beat me they're gonna have to earn it they're gonna have to really work hard they're gonna have to show that they really are dedicated like i am and this is where i think she has lost it so if she all this dedication maybe she needs to go back to her humble beginnings and maybe she'll find that edge if not she needs to retire just as simple as that any person that's human can be defeated period no matter how many wins. Because either age is going to get to you or somebody else is going to come up and have you a little bit more talented than you are. Just that simple. I, I just don't understand it sometimes with some of these MMA fighters. Cauliflower. <laughs> MMA. Cauliflower ear fighting MMA fighters. What's up with that, man? <clears throat> Couldn't pay me enough money to get my ears turned into the cauliflowers anyway. But, you know, some people, that's, that's the thing. I love boxing. I love MMA. I mean, not MMA. I love boxing. I love martial arts. But, you know, what can I say, man? What can I say? She took an L. 
better than anybody else <laughs> that I've seen <laughs> take a L. <laughs> you know. And I'm laughing because she's so damn arrogant about it and disrespects other box, other fighters. You know. Retire, Holly. I mean, retire, Rhonda. Retire. It's over. Or either take a slice of humble pie and fight other people underneath you and build your way back up. There's nothing, nothing disgraceful about that. But this is what pride and arrogance gets you. Period. 